Hello everybody, how are you all doing? My name is Raffle. Welcome to the channel. Today, it's a very sad day. Actually, no. Today is a very great day because Wrath of the Lich King just came out a couple of hours ago. And after I'm done creating a couple of videos, I'm gonna go play World of Warcraft for the next five days non-stop. But yesterday was a very, very sad day. Yesterday, season two of Part 2042 came out and I was excited, so fucking excited to try out the M16A3. You know, the Battlefield 3 version of it. And I haven't played with it on Portal because um, I believe that if I want to play Battlefield 3, I will not go to Portal and play a, a cheap downgraded version of what Battlefield 3 was. I will go to Badlog and play the real shit, the real deal, which is much, much better than Portal. So Portal is just like Nostar Knaz and, and Caspian Border with uh, three weapons. I'm like, no, thank you. I, I will play the real thing. So I haven't played pretty much Battlefield 3 in Portal, so I didn't know how the M16A3 was playing. And even if I play with it once or twice, I have no memory of it. So yesterday when I unlocked the M16A3 and played with it was the very first time that I actually got to play with it. And oh my god, it's awful. Like, M16A3 is the weapon that everybody remembers from Battlefield 3 being the real shit, being the, the, the best weapon, right? Personally, I prefer the AEK971 from Battlefield 3, but if you compare those two, I think that the M16 all around comes on top, but I just prefer the AEK, it's not that it's better, right? So M16A3 was an iconic weapon for all the Battlefield 3 players because they knew that they could pick it up and see it on everybody, right? So when I unlocked it, I was like, oh yeah, let's go. Let's see how they created this bad boy. And it's awful. It, it, it really feels, looks and plays very, very bad. The, 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 the way the animation of it when you're shooting looks like I'm playing fucking Crossfire. The sound of it sounds like I'm playing fucking Crossfire. And the, the overall performance of the weapon when it comes to accuracy, recoil and damage, I haven't pulled up any numbers, I don't know the exact numbers of it, but they just perform really, really bad. M5A3 could probably win against an M16A3 every single time at every single range. And if that's not enough, if, if the fact that the recoil is shit, the damage of it is shit, and, and the sound of it is shit, and also, you know, the way it looks, the animation, when you're shooting with it, it looks pretty, pretty bad. If that's not enough, they have the attachments from Battlefield 3 on Olaf Warfare. So, forget about the disadvantages that that decision creates, right? Why it took them nine months to bring a weapon to Olaf Warfare from Portal if they change absolutely nothing about it. What took them so long? Like, we have been complaining about the amount of weapons since day fucking one. Before the game even released, we have been complaining. And it took them nine months to bring a weapon from Portal that is the exact same. I would get it if they had to test out how the weapon would look with all the new attachments on it, all the all out warfare attachments on it, right? How the model of it will look, how it will behave, and, and things like that. If they had to do a bunch of testing, no problem there. It's understandable. Take your time, I guess. I don't know how long that shit takes, but if you're not gonna change a single thing about the damn thing, why not bring it earlier? And now let's talk about the disadvantages. I have an assault rifle which has 30 bullets, right? It has an awful recoil pattern. Why would I want to choose it? M5A3 has more bullets in a magazine, has better attachments, right? In case I run out of ammo with my MAA3, all I have to do is press open up the, the plus menu and I will get a new magazine in there. I have a bunch of barrels, I have a bunch of sides, I have a bunch of uh, whatever grips and things like that that increase my accuracy, increase my accuracy when moving, increase my accuracy when I'm standing, increase the recoil, horizontal, vertical, all those kinds of things. And M16A3 has uh, a couple of scopes, which, okay, who cares about that? And then you have two barrels, the suppressor and the heavy barrel. Good fucking luck if you decide to try the heavy barrel. And then you have two foregrips, I think, and no magazines. It's like, really? It's hands down the worst assault rifle probably at the moment. The M5A3 is much better. The AK is definitely much better. The s far or SCAR or whatever the fuck it's called is definitely much better. And the, the other thing, the, the fucking... Uh, the three burst weapon which I rarely play with, 
I don't know if it's better or not, but who gives a shit about this? I haven't seen anybody using it for, for ever since they nerfed it, pretty much. So, yeah, good for them that they're bringing portal weapons to Allout Warfare, but first of all, why we had to wait so damn long if you didn't do any changes to them? Second of all, why the fuck do they look uh, and sound uh, uh, and perform like shit? They cannot compete with the All-Out Warfare weapons at the moment. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I I'm guessing that they're not planning on adding extra attachments to them either, because if they were planning to add them, they would have done it in the previous nine months, right? So I don't know what to say. Like, it's a fucking disgrace. And the sad thing is that I was super excited a couple of days ago because they announced that the AK-971, which is my favorite weapon, as I told you, in the, not just in Battlefield 3, in the entire FPS genre, right? Those two are my favorite weapons. They, they announced that it's coming back to Portal, so I was very excited because I'm guessing that since they're bringing it to Portal and now since we're getting Portal weapons into All Out Warfare, at some point the AK-971 would also come to All Out Warfare and I would be able to play with it. Well, fuck me, don't do it. It's gonna suck as well. So yeah, I, I don't know. Did you guys play with the M16A3 at all? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching today's video, guys. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye-bye.